Hello, and welcome back to Spirit Fire. Today... Very mistakes, apparently. Yep, can't go anywhere. We need to go sleep. I have... No memory whatsoever what we were doing last time besides harvesting silk. <laughs> and there's more to harvest, and... I think we need some silk fat. Build stuff, but first things first. Let's see. Uh, okay, it's over here, so we're not going over there. <laughs> and there's no way we're getting over there. Uh, so maybe let's see over here, maybe over here, and over here. Why not? Okay. For those, we need silk fabric. Uh, for Upgrades. Blue stuffs. Upgrades. Thinks we need eight silk thread. So we're trying. Try to do it now. And I forgot to wake them up. As usual. Okay, it should be enough. Oh, there it is. Wait, the silk. <laughs> you really need that. Silk fret. And for this, nothing. No. Oh, we had someone else left up great. You, perhaps. Oak plank, plasm. Well, we can do that. Eight oak plants and thread. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, there's something good. King. No. Yes. Good morning, Gustav. Eight. Red. I think I'm just a bit off. Okay, we are just at it. There you have it. Your desk. I think we need them to. We have gardens plenty. Cellar. Ectoplasms, maybe we have. We get that eventually. Laundry we have, that we have. Bounce, we don't. Then I don't really want to build it. Let's get those plants. Are you hungry by any chance? No, you're not. Get out of my sight, please. Something? All right, I built your desk. That's where you do something. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you are happy as well to build your things. Oh, and my coal is ready as well. Let's get some more. It's a shame that I can't add more, just twice as much. Hmm. It's finally here. Look at it. Look at the curves. Hmm. Look at the perfect fit of the materials. Oh. Truly a masterpiece. I'll be able to accomplish my immense work much more comfortably and glamorously. Uh -huh. Now I can manage most of the smaller pieces by myself, but the larger ones, as the desk, we'll have to manufacture ourselves. Once I have received some designs from collaborators, I'll give them over to you. Uh -huh. I'm sure you'll be, as usual, perfectly competent in executing them. Yeah. 
Yes, hungry. you're hungry? Yep. Okay, so mm -hmm. what? Okay. Meet you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Ow. There you go. Mm -hmm. A hug. Mm -hmm. There's always been something particularly great about living all by yourself. Okay, so that's all. Let's see, because it seems we've encountered the darkness. Got the latest of incredible. It's huge. Listen up. Apparently, there's this kid in Amberton Park handing out copies of Super Saver and Scum Book. No reaction? Nothing? Well, your kids these days. Every cent is important. You can't go around squandering your paycheck. You need to be smart about how you spend your money. But I'll show you the way. Do you want to buy something? Are you gonna pay full price for it? No way, you need to be chasing deals. That's what, mom, that's what my mom used to say, and that's what I'm telling you. You just need to, the patience to pounce at the right moment. You need to be more like a tiger, sweet bee. Let's say you've been seeing an archive room B2522 for your boat. Branding Ed Brain is the only one who's got the blueprint? Are you just going to walk up to him and pay full price? No? Good! In no way should you be paying full price for anything. You are going to wait and find a way to pay a bit less. If that means taking a detour to Ambertown Park before buying something at Edgeboro Lane, so be it. Don't go, don't go and just buy that archive from B2522 right away. It won't be worth it. Wait until you can sh shave a few glimpses of the asking price. Why are you sad? No. Why are you sad? Never mind then, keep your secrets. But I guess we're going to park again. Okay, so we should... Well... It's not like we can go like this. Oh, and I was supposed to build her something. I think this is the last... I don't know. Oh. Oak plank, and I made ash planks again. Yes, uh, you're probably hungry. I tried. I tried feeding bagel green salad. And. Uh, let's see, over here. This time. Oak. more than enough, but if that saves me from having to do that again, so be it. Let's buy her that upgrade. Maybe in services I think that we have more and more plants over our house. I don't know why. There's darkness all around. And more darkness. Even, there's even some over here? No. It looks like a storm. There's something strange as well. I think it's a mist. Oh, I think there's something new over here. Okay, what's left? Well, we're not doing that yet. Mm. Oh. Uh, well, I thought you told us to go. The 
park first. Nice ones go straight over there. Let's see. What will we plant? I have no idea. No, I really. I'm kind of the one with planting. It just it is tiresome. I have some more wheat, maybe, so we can finally get some more flour. And some money. Lots of them. Oh, Gustav, do you have something new for me? Okay, I'm confused. Well, we were supposed to go to the park first, then get back here. Hmm. Okay. I really can't believe how loud can someone oh. be. Oh, a good time perhaps? No, no. Okay. Mm. Oh, did you have it? Yep. Let me get it. I, it's not that much. Mm -hmm. do do? I think we've done the old bouncy thing we can. We still haven't found any cows. Now we are certified to keep them. <laughs> it seems that we got some achievement for that as well. Well, there's that one of the certificates somewhere in the world where I sold it. Um, let's see... Oh, we can buy it. Would you mind having this on top of your house? Oh, no. no. Let's see, where can we go? Good try. Going over here. I just want to see the edge of darkness. Where it is exactly. Like, really? I don't see my. This looks great! This reminds me a bit of my late husband David's classroom. Obviously you've never met him, but you knew he was a high school teacher. You already knew that! To whom? It's just very similar. You should go inside and take a peek. Maybe see if the projector still works. I try, but... I... <laughs> oh! Nothing to show? You could try this. It was in my husband's work things. Maybe it will work. Oh, 
Oh, wow. If it was a math teacher. He taught at Chelsea High for 20 years. Oh. We met on a blind date. I knew Bachelor is snatched up quickly in a small town. My friend Pauline matched us up. She was the school secretary. The school would have been in shambles, shambles without her. She was the first to see him and call, called me the second he was out of the sight. I just met the love of your life. How about that? He was right. That point. I was the love of his life. He was gonna go too quickly to be the love of mine. I never met anyone as special as him. He had a warmth that I was never able to find again. Well, what are we looking at? It must be a formula or something. I've never been that great at math. My brain is confused with numbers. I hate that in common with... Mm, tell me that she isn't great with... Uh, I'm just tired. I can feel it in my bones. Don't ever get old stuff. It wouldn't suit you. Well, it looks to me that it's a formula for coordinates between two set of points. Nope. If you want to see a middle between two points, that's the formula I do use. Oh, we, we have pictures and an onion. Let's see, what can we combine that with? Fish? And, uh, okay, I want to try something. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's it. Yes, I want to try striped onions. Onion rings! That's it! And I need to build another ship pen. Mm. Here we are nearly there. Ooh. Oh, we're gonna miss it. But it doesn't really matter. It should have been onion rings. I'm. Mm -mm. Now let's try that. I'm disappointed. And I forgot to wait them up again. Go over here, maybe. Oh, actually, a cancel all. No, wait. So I would like to visit him and her, and maybe try going. Him and her. No, oh, I don't want to do this. Oh. I think I clicked yes. Yep, I did. But I don't want any. I'll just stand over here because I don't even know whether I have. Any time you need empty bottles? I do lots of, but I actually could use some. Some grins.
them. It looks like... Wait, is not. I like swimming in the rain and all the plants don't need watering at all. I don't try being on this boat. I've been wondering, would it be possible to build me a house? Remember, the kids and David and I lived in a farm. With nature all around, we had dogs and goats. It was a cozy little farmhouse. It wasn't much, but it was ours. Uh, what am I saying? already done that for me. I was just testing you to see if you're quick on your feet. As I can see you're so sharp, which reminds me, I need to get my kitchen knife sharpened. That was something my taller friend Daryl didn't do. He was cutting vegetables one day and just like that, the blade bent, broke and shattered all over the place. Mostly in his face. He had bandages on his face from all the cats. His wife Hannah left him. Not because of the cat, but because he had a secret family two towns over. That just goes to show you can't trust a man who doesn't sharpen his knives. Oh, well, um, I guess I'll go home. German spy, okay. We'll just make a pie. Oh, well, oh, I can mix it with milk. Wait, it's some some other different. If uh, just many layers can become pickled, sour, sour crowd in the cellar. Oh. Okay, give me a second, I'll make more. Yes, Beverly will do one. This is quite the vessel. At this point, it's essentially a sailing village, a real community. Do you remember Dana? The flower girl with beautiful long hair, red right? hair? You know, Dana we went to the desert with some friends. They all followed this man with a long robe and silky hair around. They all called him Jimmy Jim, which always sounded odd to me. Was Jimmy a diminutive of James? Was Jim his last oh. name? It did, just didn't really roll off the tongue. You'd think a cult leader would be better at coming up with names. And I kept telling me they were looking for some kind of new water. That the water inside it was too tainted. Full of city sweat and bad omens. That they needed to find a better, cleaner source of water in the desert. They kept wanting me to come with them. Telling me this new water would heal everything, that the new community would be beautiful. Everyone in harmony with each other and with nature. Well, it didn't take long for everyone to be dehydrated. The well they dug lasted for a few weeks and everyone started fighting all over the water. I guess I'm just saying that I know you're busy. You've got things to tend to. People to see, places to be. I don't want to be a bother, but I'll just have to be. I've been thinking about a way to repay you for all that running around. I think I've got a pretty good idea, but I need your help for the final touch. I was talking to one of the people in this boat. I'm so bad with names. Well, new names. I can't seem to remember your passengers. It must be all the comings and goings. <laughs> well, they were saying sometimes the boat goes through a swarm of fireflies. Their bodies are sometimes filled with fire glow seeds. Oh, look at that. You already got some fire glow. No need for all that trouble then. Some beautiful, perfect, spicy fire glow. Ooh, what the heck? I can't keep it a secret for much longer. Do you remember when you first moved into the building? I had been there for years. I sold the house a few months after David died. The kids were heartbroken at first. They were never there. They just wanted their old rooms to stay perfectly intact, I suppose. Oh, back to you. Your fridge broke on the first day. Poor thing. I could tell you were broken. Couldn't afford takeout. Remember what happened? Okay, no. 
That's too bad. I made you soup. Not just any soup. My favorite soup in the whole wide world. It was laksa. It was the first thing I ate when I moved to the big city alone. I had moved here to be closer to my sister. It was quite a trip. It took a few days. Oh, when I got here, my neighbor, Aranya from 32B, invited me to dinner. Neighbors were friendlier back then. She served laksa. I have never tried it before, but I instantly fell in love. For years straight, I must have invited myself to dinner at least once a week. Hopefully, I didn't overstay my welcome. The family was so nice. In any case, spicy food became my ultimate friendship test. If you can stomach it, then you can stomach me. A new past with flying colors. I couldn't help you with your fridge, but I could help you feed. And my gift to you is Ariana's family recipe. I can't recreate it anymore. Well, that's not true. I don't believe that at my age I've done enough cooking for a lifetime. It's time to let someone else take the reins. If you cook Alexa, maybe we can share it. You just have to put a fire glow and... A fire glow and that delicious powder of grain. Oh, sorry about that. I slipped my mind. You have to figure it out, I suppose. If I had Laksa in front of me, I would remember. Wouldn't that be lovely? You talk so much. Oh, you want that? Do you want that? Of course you do. I don't want to sell you anything else. No, I don't think. Do you have any errands I can do? Trash map. Let me do. Sure. I might get tomatoes. Okay. So sure, I can give you that. Then I can buy a few something from you. Well, those, of course. Yeah. Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you mm -hmm. found your first treasure map. Nope, not true. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside. You'll find coordinates for some treasure. Thanks. Okay, but I think that's gonna be it for today. So let's open this up. And I need something to write. Minus 58 and minus 52. Let's take that out when we are done. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!